I've come down to Leeds College of Art because they really know about colour here. We're doing an experiment to work out how light waves make colour. Job one, some colour painting. It's just the words red, green and blue in the colours red, green and blue. So I can see that you're drawing green in green and you're painting the word red in green. What makes that blue? I think it depends on which colours are absorbed and which colours are reflected. Like, how about the paper? What makes the paper white? What is it white? Well, um, white light is made up of all of the colours, apart from black. The students here know a thing or two about colour. But are they right? Is white light really made from coloured light? I've got lights in the three primary colours, red, green and blue. Primary colours are the ones all the other colours can be made from. And we have cells in our eyes that actually respond to them. Let's see what happens if we combine some of those colours together using light. First of all, let's combine red and blue. And that gives us a colour called magenta. Now, if we move the blue light onto the green light, we get a combination called cyan. Now, if we was to bring the red over to the green, we actually get another colour, yellow. Now let's see what happens if you combine all three of them. As you can see in the centre, we've actually got white light. It's true. When red light, green light and blue light combine in your eye, what you see is white. Now for the experiment. When light falls on the painted words, what makes them look different colours? Now, only one of each colour word is actually painted in the same colour as the word. Pretty easy to see, isn't it? But how about if we change the light? Brilliant! The red paint and the white paper reflect the red light, so they both look red. The green and blue paints absorb it and look almost black. In blue light, it's the blue paint and white paper that look blue. The other colours go black. So let's see if some of the artists here can work out what's going on. To test these guys' colour knowledge, we've made it just a bit more difficult. So obviously, this is in black and white to make it a little bit harder. But I want to see if you guys can work out which of the words is painted in its correct colour. In white light, all the words reflect their own colour. They're all the same, you think we're trying to trick you. In the black and white picture, you just can't tell them apart. So can we have the next slide, please? So this is shining red light at the images. Now there's a big difference. The lighter parts of the picture are where the red light was reflected. The dark parts where it was absorbed. Which one do you think is written in red? The, the middle? Yeah. The one that's disappeared? So these are all red? Yes. OK. And it's the same in blue light. I think the first, first one, one is first one. The first one? This one here? Yeah. Do you all agree? So this is blue and it's matched by that, that and that. They all look the same. So let's put you out of your misery and let's check the actual colours. So you was right. See? And if you master the science of light and colour, you can use it to create some pretty amazing artistic effects. OK, so we've got some pictures down here made by an Italian artist called Karnofsky. And it looks like a cacophony of images, loads of stuff happening on one page. But actually, if we change the light again, we'll see something magical happen. You can see that the picture isn't so confusing anymore, is it? And as we change from red to green, you can see that a different picture comes out. And actually, as you go on to blue, you can see the picture change again.